So look, bro. Um, I did one of these videos, I think, like two days ago. And I was so interested in... Mm. No, nah, but look, I was so interested in it um, that I had to do another one. You know, nobody cared what y'all think. No, nah, I'm just playing, but I had to do another one, bro. It was cases I never heard of before or I never even seen. And I love the cases that I don't got to read about or don't got to hear about them. I get to actually see the video and the footage and evaluate it for myself. You know what I'm saying? And I thought it was dope. That's why we here again. To Ghost Gang Squad, GGOT, Ghost Gang on top. What's up to y'all? Uh, to the new people over here, because I know some of y'all came over here all clueless, like, who is this yellow fool up in my, uh, recommending on my up next? That means we working, bro. Consistent Ghost to the building. I'm in your recommending. You never watched, bro, you never watched my video before now? What? Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> no, nah, but, um, oh, yeah, GTA channel. 5,000 away from 100,000 subscribers, bro. My link is in the description. Get over there even if you don't watch them. And to all y'all that don't watch my gaming videos, it's because y'all ain't gave it a chance. And it's because y'all was like, oh, I ain't finna watch no Grand Theft Auto video. But this is way different, bro. I'm, you got to watch it. It's like a movie. I'm not lying to y'all. You got to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Link in the description. Other than that... We finna get to these mysterious cases. We dropping two videos today. This should be the second video. And yeah, bro. CG, what we what we say? CGITB, consistent ghost in the building. MF mother. No. <laughs> we finna get straight to the video though, so we can see what's up. This that uh the must solve cases, baby. Unsolved mysteries caught on camera by CCTV. Mm-hmm. Jog rage. A rear dash camera catches a jogger running on Putney Bridge in southwest London. A 33-year-old woman can be seen walking along I the bridge in the opposite there, direction, minding her own business. Okay. What the hell? Without warning, the jogger violently shoves the woman into the and path of an oncoming double-decker bus. Luckily, the driver is able to swerve to a stop in time. Didn't we speak of London last time with the cameras? And, and we had this in research. I guess India number one now, but it used to be London, bro. But anyways, CCTV. We be having cameras on our car for the front to see if somebody hit us, bro. They got them in the back in London. They got them out here in the U.S., but what are the odds of you trying to be so sneaky that a camera on the back of a car catch you? You're not supposed to be here, bro. You're going to die some I ain't even going to lie to you. If you got caught like that and it's barely seen you, this is a wrap for you. <laughs> in about three years from now. How old is this video? Oh, this is three years from now. This is 2008. <laughs> Where's Graveside at? <laughs> I'm to avoid hitting her. Thankfully, the woman only received mm. minor injuries, but the jogger simply continued his run without stopping. He was caught on CCTV camera in the bus as he passed. See? But the man has never been identified or captured by police. The woman says that she didn't recognize the man and has no idea why he targeted her in such a violent way. Because he's a basta. Emma Filipoff. Hold on, Filipoff. Let me find my right real quick. Hmm. Young Filipoff. Let's see what happened to uh, the homie. The disappearance of Emma Filipoff of British Columbia, Canada has mystified police and independent investigators for years. The case unfolds as a true unsolved mystery caught on camera. On November 20th, 2012, Emma Filipoff was spotted on CCTV at the Victoria British Columbia YMCA, signing up for a membership. Her behavior was strange to say the least. Emma exits and re-enters the building six times within minutes. 
each time staring out at the parking lot as if checking for someone who might be following her or lurking around waiting outside for her. But he comes six times in one minute, bro. She was scared that somebody, that woman was scared, bro. <coughs> <coughs> She comes right in the door and just wait, the double door. On the early morning of November 27th, Emma went into a nearby 7-Eleven convenience store. She purchased a $200 prepaid credit card and left. That same night, Emma returned to the convenience store and purchased a prepaid cellular phone, called a burner phone by some because of the ease with which the phone can be used anonymously and then trashed. And then throw them away. This was especially odd since Emma had never purchased or owned a phone like this before. Once again, Emma can be seen on CCTV acting strangely. Before leaving, she continuously peers out the window of the convenience store. Damn, Emma. Some she gone. That whole day she was scared and yeah. That's what I'm saying. I say this all the time, bro. As a woman in this world, it's the scariest. I don't care how tough y'all think y'all is. Y'all like to do all this rah 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 and just whoop 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 and. I swear to God, anybody run up, mother. <clears throat> I don't care what type of woman you is. If a guy wanna do something to you, beat you up on the spot, he can do that. If he wanna kidnap you, he can do that. You can be with your kids. He wanna take your kids. I don't, and I don't wanna hear. Yeah, right. I'm gonna be fighting. Ain't no woman out here stronger than a man, bro. They not. Internally, yeah. They mine, yeah. But everything I'm talking about got to do with physical. And y'all not winning that match. Y'all not, bro. And I tell my sisters that all the time. I tell my mama, my baby mama, my homegirls, my auntie, my friends, any female I know. Don't try with, don't, don't, don't try. Especially if you out pumping gas this late. If you out by yourself in general, bro. Stay out these, stay out these men way. For real, for real. Because if they want to do something, they can do it. Police on speed dial, they're going to take two or three minutes to get there. Unless you got that, they going to do it, bro. For real. She was spooked. As if checking for someone who might Emma be following scared. her or waiting outside. Crazy. The convenience, the, the uh, clerk didn't ask what's up, they just... She left the store and was walking along the street when she was spotted by Dennis Quay, an acquaintance who had met Emma once before. So I walked up to her, I'm like, Emma, are you okay? Like, are you looking for someone? Is someone following you? Like, what's, what's happening? Quay said that Emma was acting odd and suspicious. Man, Quay did it. Constantly looking nah, around just... her as if she feared someone were following her. Concerned for her safety, Quay called the police. When the police arrived to question Emma, they asked her if she was okay. She said yes. They asked if she was upset or depressed, but she replied that she was just fine. So the police let her go on her way. Yeah, they can't do nothing. This was the last time Emma Filipoff was ever seen. Weeks later, a man was caught on CCTV walking into a Vancouver clothing store. Crumbled up in his hand, he had a missing poster of Emma Filipoff that he had ripped down from a wall was very angry and agitated and told the shopkeeper that Emma was his girlfriend and that she just wanted to be left alone. The man left the clothing store and the police were never able to find him again for further questioning. Mm. Heavy sleeper. What happened to Emma, bro? Let me know in the comments because that right there, I can't even get no evaluation. Did she leave? Did he do something to her, bro? I mean... Ain't no angry boyfriend gonna be mad or that don't even make no sense, bro. That makes zero sense. So you mean to tell me the boyfriend seen his girlfriend on the wall or whatever he ripped the poster from, took it, came back in the store clerk, said the reason I took that off the wall because she just wanna be left alone. If you got posters on the wall saying that you missing, bro, the first thing you as a boyfriend supposed to do is call her, babe. They saying you missing. Woo -woo -woo. We need to go down to the police station to fix this, yada, yada, yada. You don't rip it now. It's like she just wanted to be left alone. Bro did it. You know what I'm saying? He, what happened to Emma, bro? 
Energized, for real. Laura Lucas had been out for a night on the town, having dinner and drinks with friends. When she returned home, she fell fast asleep on the couch. Little did she know that she wasn't alone. While Laura was sleeping, a woman broke into her house and began brazenly robbing the place. Ow. Dogs be needed. And that's not even a, how do, did, do you live in the suburbs and you just left your slide door open and it don't look like she that handy. She didn't even have nothing with her, no backpack or nothing to break up in that house, bro. And even if she did, Laura, you were not sleeping that heavy. You wasn't that faded for you not to hear that. Let me take that back. She just tippy throwing through the house while that woman is asleep. Little did she know that she wasn't alone. While Laura was sleeping, wow. a woman broke into her house and began brazenly robbing the place. The woman, caught on camera, can be seen passing right by Laura as she sleeps I on the I would've felt couch. that. I would've felt the that. The robber checks through the various rooms in the home looking for valuables. She a smoker, bro. CCTV camera captures the woman rifling through Laura's bag stealing cash, jewelry, and an expensive watch as Laura sleeps nearby. In a somewhat comical end to the video, Laura Lucas's dog she happily greets the woman as she approaches the side exit. That dog would have been at the pound after that, bro. No lie, if I would have seen it, at the pound. I don't care what nobody say, dogs ain't just around to be cute, bro. Roof, one time to wake me up. Roof, roof, twice or something, bro. We don't, you don't know her, bro. What this black ass bitch walking up in my house like this? You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing I would have said as a dog, roof. Wake the homie up, roof. You know what I'm saying? You will, you, 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 nigga get free snacks. Living there ain't gotta pay no rent. You know what I'm saying? Family be coming out. You can't roof, my nigga. You, huh? At the pound. <laughs> That's where the missing, the poster would have came up. Not, it wouldn't have said missing, no. That's what it said. For sale. You can't sell dogs like that. Well, she take it out. What? You want me to kill it? Because I... Roof. He didn't even do that one time, bro. You got this smoker walking all through my house. And Seeing how fire. friendly the dog is, the woman brushes him aside and goes back in yet again to steal Laura's car keys off the counter. She then exits the home and steals Laura's car that is parked in the driveway. <laughs> It should be noted that all of this happened in a supposedly safe gated community. Yeah. The woman was able to slip past the guards with no... They put a guard right there, bro. I promise you, if you fresh out of jail and you need a job, you can apply for that and get it. They only put that booth right there and that guard post. So when they say the rent is regularly 1500 when they put the guard post right there, they're going to say 2300 so it can look like a gated community. And they just raise it up on you. So that one post right there, they paying them people to work there. Bro, they are making that 500, 1,000 times over with all them units up in them apartments, all them condos. It was 1,500, now you get to charge 500 people, 2,300. Just to put the post right there, they ain't really looking out. Cause I promise you, if I was working right there, I wouldn't have cared who came in and out trying to remember faces. You don't live here. Man, I'll be on the sock security. Like, like when I go to my mama house sometime, bro. How do you know the people of it? Well, my mama live here. What you mean? Like, you... <laughs> what? Questions. Don't know me. Laura Lucas says that she was unaware that the robbery had even taken place until she checked her security the next day. And her dog didn't want to roll. The whole incident caught on CCTV. I lady could. And I looked at the video, and that's when I saw what happened. John Lang. At first glance, the story of John Lang seems like that of a tragic, paranoid schizophrenic. John Lang believed that the Fresno, California Police Department was, quote, out to get him. Man. He said that they were in- Them be facts, bro. Them be facts. I don't care what, no, hold on. Look, I don't care what nobody say. That be real live facts. The police, they regular people. You know what I'm saying? They be regular people. Just because they got the uniform on don't mean they turn into robots. Therefore, if they see you all the time and they dislike you, they're going to mess with you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get their little buddies to do it. Just go ahead and mess with them a little bit. We want them to get out of... Hopefully, you got something that look like a gun so we can just go ahead and smoke them one day. Well, I promise you, that's how they get down, man. Investigating him after he had that. posted articles criticizing the police department on local newspaper sites. 
including suggesting that the Fresno police were targeting the poor by illegally scanning license plates of parked cars in lower income neighborhoods. Facts. And then pulling them over a few blocks away under the guise of a normal police stop. Facts. John Lane Facts. also made out. Bro is on to something. <laughs> he is on to something. I promise you the police be doing that, bro. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all, a lot of y'all probably don't live in, 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 in like the hoods like that, but it's a such thing called gang units. We call them G unit, all right? The gang units, what they do is a certain amount of officers, it'd probably be like 10 to 15 officers. Same 10 to 15 officers patrol this one hood. They don't go to this hood. They don't go to this hood. They stay up in this one hood, bro, and they be in there for years. So they know everybody over there, what kind of car they drive or whatever, bro. They be looking for these fools, but they car be parked. They could be sitting right there having a donut. That car could roll by a car that roll by that looked like a dick. Donut in the trash. Well, not donut in the trash. Donut in the pocket, because, you know, they ain't throwing away no donut. You know what I'm saying? Get up in the car, try to pull you up for a regular traffic. You were speeding. But how you know when you sit in the donut shop? You didn't even have no, like, what? You need a thermometer to go ahead and... And, and, and check your temperature because you did have not had no speedometer to go ahead and say I was speeding just by viewing in your eyes, bro. Hold on. This is a free call from. Janet. Oh, my brother calling. He, he got the jail. Let me try this shit. Right when I'm. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions mm. to register this number as a private number. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. Please thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello? What's up, nigga? What's up, big bro? What you got to man? I'm recording right now, bro. You called me literally in the middle of recording. Say what's up, bro. Hey, yeah, man, you already know, man. That's those game shit, man. My big brother out here stepping on niggas' necks, man. Hey, yeah, every time I tell him to do a shout out, he sound like he dropping the album and shit. <laughs> 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 now, nah, AJ told me you called him, though. I mean, he talked to you. Yeah, uh, I'm in here with his big homie, Big C. Uh, yeah, I know. Trying to eat yeah, yeah, I'm already knowing. But look. Yeah, yeah. Right, I hate to tell you to call me, call me back, bro. I know you call me collecting shit, but call me, um, give me like 20 minutes. You, bro. Do your thing, man. I love you, bro. Do your thing. I got you. Right, I'm going to let you talk to it, nigga. Right, man. Hey, man, I'm going to let you talk to it, man. Right, Oh, my lighter keep dropping. Yeah, my little brother up there fighting murder right now. You know what I'm saying? But I bet he be out. You know what I'm saying? Because money loaded in the bitch right now. <laughs> Landis claims that the Fresno police were harassing him, following him, and even trying to sneak into his house to plant criminal evidence. John kept a journal that contained even more preposterous accusations. Now, all of these claims definitely seem like the paranoid ramblings of a tragically delusional man. He not delusional, bro. They always want to say somebody delusional when it comes to the police. The police be scattered. I, man, come on. And he white. Why he gonna lie? Why he gonna try to take down everybody when he he up there, he, he confronting black, black problems. <laughs> they do be pulling us over. They be rolling past cars and, man, he not lying. Not. But here's where the story gets truly bizarre. John Lang believed that the Fresno police were monitoring his house, so he set up a CCTV camera to record the street outside his home. The result was some very strange, unexplained incidents caught on camera. See? John caught footage of strangers stopping their car along his street, then walking along in front of his house for seemingly no reason, and then just leaving. There were vans with government plates who seemed to inexplicably be staking out his house. Oh, John crazy though, huh? John Cap though, huh? You know what I'm saying? And after John Lang had become fed up with what he believed to be harassment by the Fresno police, he filed an internal affairs complaint against the local law enforcement. That night, he received a strange visit from three Fresno police cruisers who simply parked outside his home. Multiple officers then got out of their cars and basically just stood around on the opposite side of the street, staring at his house. They do what they want. 
but most yeah. bizarre of all is this clip caught by John Lang's CCTV camera. A black van full of men pull up and park on the opposite side of the street. The van's side door opens and one of the men begins filming John Lang's house with some sort of elaborate camera setup. Bro, that camera is a $10,000, $20,000 camera. Why y'all filming John with that equipment? They paint. That's the police, bro. I would have. I would have moved. Would have changed my name. I would have went to Doctor Miami and got the whole little. <laughs> Fuck it. I would have got some ass shots. I not even gonna lie. I would have come out. They're not finna kill me. You know what I'm saying? Would have got all of the Botox all in my. What? Some have argued that this camera is a thermal imaging camera, a type that can see heat signatures through walls and can be used to determine if a person is inside. Others say that the rig is simply an elaborate DSLR filming system. Whatever it is, it's too much money but to be the filming this. The question remains, why are these men parked in front of John Lang's house in this nondescript van, and why are they filming with this elaborate camera system? Exactly. Some have even suggested that the man in the front seat who was talking on a cell phone might be reporting their findings back to some third party. On January 14th, John Lang began making posts on Facebook, telling people that he believed the Fresno police planned to kill him. Mm -hmm. On January 16th, he posted yet another warning. And finally, another post, asking that anyone who owned a gun please come stay with him for the night, as he believed, quote, the bad guys were coming for him. Four days later, John Lang was dead. Whoa, bro! Bro. 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 He had been stabbed multiple times inside his house, and the house itself had been set on fire. The reason why he was stabbed, the reason, I promise you, the reason why he was stabbed because the police didn't want to make it seem like he got shot with a gun because the police could have did it. If he got stabbed, they could have blamed that on a home invasion, a gangbanger, a crackhead, or somebody that didn't have a gun because if it was the police, they would have just shot him. Why would the police stab him? That's what they come... Bro, then they set the house on fire. Who do you know that's going to stab the dude? We ain't setting the house... Rest in peace to John, bro. What? Bro. Nothing happened to the Fresno Police Department after this. You know what I'm saying? At first, the Fresno Police Public Information Officer announced that John Lang was killed by stab wounds, which included being stabbed multiple times in the back. Later, the Fresno Police denied this statement. Fresno Police claimed that John Lang had taken his own life that he had set his own house on fire, and that he had then stabbed himself multiple times. You stabbed yourself Many multiple times in the back? people still don't believe the Fresno Police's version mm -hmm. of the events leading to John Lang's death. True, Lang was possibly delusional and definitely paranoid, but as the old saying goes, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean that they're not after you. Right. Lucky miss. I now, before I show you the video, let me emphasize that no one was hurt in this clip. A fact that might surprise you once you see it. A woman in Mumbai, India walks out alone on a train platform just as the train approaches. Anyway, my bad. I couldn't show y'all that next clip. I don't know. That, it was all cap. And y'all have heard the story a million times. I didn't even want to go ahead and report that. I'm going to be 100 with y'all. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I'm going to get at y'all next time. Consistent ghost in the building as usual. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, GTA Ghost, y'all get over there. Almost at 100,000, 5,000 away. See y'all next time. GTA Ghost, 100.